Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part six of our series of session on F12 configuration for vouchers. In this session, we will see a couple of more last options in case of payment voucher. I just want to remind that all these options that we saw in the payment voucher is similar in case of a receipt voucher also. So we will quickly see the configurations in comparison with the payment voucher and also the receipt voucher. So let's quickly go to Tally and explore a couple of other options. I have opened two instances of Tally just to show the similar configuration in the payment voucher for F12 and also in the receipt voucher for F12 for your understanding. So first let's go to one instance here where I go to vouchers, we select payment, payment is already selected. So I'm going to press F12 configure and these are the F12 configuration options for payment voucher. Now I'm going to click on the second instance of tally. I have already selected receipt voucher here and let me press F12 configuration and let us compare and see the configuration. So I had mentioned the banking part we will discuss once we go into the banking module in detail. So if you notice here currently the all the options that you are seeing here is exactly the same option that is going to be available for you in the receipt voucher F12 configuration also. Only difference here you are going to make payment in the payment voucher and here these are the receipt. So all the options are going to be same. So in today's session we will quickly see couple of more options. One is show bill wise detail. By default, this option is going to be yes. And we will see what happens if we make this options no. Before that, we will see with this option, what is that information that we are going to see in the voucher. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show these three options in the receipt voucher. Since I mentioned the options are the same. So let me just maximize the screen and so show bill wise detail is yes here. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to press control A and uh, let's say I make a receipt entry. I'm going to credit my India Mart. Okay, so against reference, these are the references which are pending. So let's assume that I'm going to receive money for the three invoices that is 17, 18 and 19. So I select here, enter. I say again, against reference, select the second invoice. Against reference, the third invoice. Okay, and then I say end of list. So if you notice here, we are viewing the bill wise detail in the voucher entry screen okay so this is the option in f12 show bill wise detail because it is yes we are viewing this bill wise detail in the voucher so let us now make this option as no and then see what happens on the face of the voucher so i come here click here and then i say no and I press control A and you will notice here the bill wise detail has vanished. So whatever is the allocation that you are doing, it will automatically allocate and it will impact the books of account. But only thing is that it is not going to show this bill wise detail on the face of the voucher, whether it is receipt voucher or payment voucher. So I press F12 again and I say show bill wise detail. I make this as yes. I press control A and here we are seeing the bill wise detail. So that is the option to show bill wise detail. 
now let's go to the next option which is show bill wise detail in multiple line so by default this option is going to be no and first quickly let us just observe here so when you observe here it is single line where it says the nature of adjustment the reference number and if there is a due date it is going to give you the due, due date but here it gives you it is going to be due in 10 days or this is going to be due in 30 days what is the actual due date if you want to see then you come to f12 configuration and then you say show bill wise detail in multiple line make this as yes and press control a and now you will see the in 10 days the bill was supposed to be due on 16th december 20 and on 31st january 21 so here if you have an invoice where you have broken into multiple payment schedule or receipt schedule then you are going to get all this schedule if it is overdue it is going to give you the list so that is what is the option of show bill wise detail in multiple line so if you don't want this information as i said this option by default is going to be no so if you make this as no enter and press control a and that additional line will get disappeared here so this is about the option of show bill wise detail in multiple line now the next one uh, one when voucher number exceeds 16 characters okay so this again is going to be by default s yes. the the most important critical relevance of this 16 character is associated with gst compliance the gst law very clearly states the invoice number should not exceed 16 characters the 16 characters could be alpha numeric and couple of special characters also just to check that the number is not going to exceed 16 digit this option is given here but as i mentioned the criticality of this lies in case of your sales invoice so when you make a sales invoice as per gst law your sales invoice number should not exceed 16 digit so that is the control when you make this as yes it is going to bring here but nevertheless you will also have this control provided in payment and receipt voucher where if your voucher number so in case you have a voucher number which is manual then it is going to verify whether the voucher number is exceeding 16 digit if it is exceeding 16 digit tally is going to give you a warning so let us quickly see this okay. let's go to the payment voucher so let's come back again here I press F5 for payment so here I have created a uh, multiple voucher type so let us take the cash payment voucher this is just basically to demonstrate the option of one when voucher number exits 16 characters like I said the relevance is more related to your sales invoice so now I am going to I have set up the voucher number as manual so I am going to enter manual digit if the manual digit here it could be alphanumeric if it is exceeding 16 digit let us see what happens so i'm going to say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 for 1 11 for 1 12 for 2 13 3 14 4 15 5 16 6 so this is 16 characters 17 7 for 17 8 for 18 9 for 19 so there are 19 characters here now let's see what happens when i press enter you will notice here the option the voucher number should not exceed 16 characters because we have set this option to verify and warn if it is exceeding 16 characters supposing i make this as no make this as no i press ctrl a and you will realize that the cursor is now automatically going to the next field it is not verifying and validating the voucher number even though it is beyond 
16 digits. So this completes our configurations related to payment voucher and also receipt voucher. I hope this session would have helped you in understanding this F12 configuration options for payment voucher and also receipt voucher. And I hope you have understood how you can make use of these options to fasten your data entry and also manage your data entry properly. In the next session, we will see more about the F12 configuration related to purchase voucher and explore what are the options available under purchase vouchers so that you can make use of those options to the fullest. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.